Hey filmmakers, Shongda here. In this video, I'm going to show you a light that I built, which is uh, the light that I'm using right now to film myself with. It's a LED strip light. It, I can actually kind of say it's a kind of a Kino LED light. It's like a tube light, but it's with LED. It's uh, a very uh, short one. It's like a uh, half a meter, like 50 centimeters. And it's powered with a uh, Sony MPF battery. And yeah, it's also quite portable and quite small to take around with. And for the moment, I find it's quite bright. So right now I'm using the 1022 uh, on a speed booster and uh, the ISO is on 400 and the shutter speed is 1 50th. So it's a quite bright light. And yeah, I find the look is also quite pleasing because yesterday I did a few test shots uh, filming my helmet and it looks quite uh, nice. Uh, it actually can get the Kino light kind of look with it. Um, Mainly you can see inside the reflection, it's a long tube light that's used instead of a small LED panel with a lot of small dots or a big soft box, which would like have like a big square reflection in it. So it's a nice uh, thin long reflection inside. And yeah, let's uh, show you the actual light. So this is the light, it is a, actually a LED strip light you can find this on eBay and I'll have a link in the description below to all these parts and the great thing about this is actually uh, I can attach it with a uh, hot shoe mount to my uh, light stand like this and it makes it actually quite easy to uh, yeah attach it to anything so i really like that it has uh, it is enabled to uh, attach to a cold shoe or hot shoe like on how i've did it on here so that's one of the big plus sides uh, that you can attach it to uh, a very standard mount and um, enable to yeah aim it how you want to instead of having to hold it the whole time also it's quite small and uh, quite easy to take with you and also to hide in areas to uh, light more interesting stuff so right now if you want to buy this there is two versions of it so one is um, pure white and the other is one white the one i got is pure white with which is around 6000 kelvins the other thing is when you get it you get it with the black and red wire so you don't get this uh, small plug with it but it's not that much of an issue so you can buy this small plug which is like one buck and then uh, yeah adapt it to it or solder it onto it which is not that much of a issue and then uh, powering it, there is so many possibilities. You can use a RC battery. You can use a uh, yeah, wall adapter that converts to 12 volts. And uh, how I use it is with a uh, Sony MPF battery plate that converts the 7.4 volt to 12 volts. So here you can see Sony MPF battery. And there we go that is very bright and yeah right now I'm using a different light uh, here which is more about 4000 Kelvin so you can see that this light is more blue but um, yeah I find this quite nice uh, you can also attach it to a wall or anything and yeah able to attach it to a small hot shoe adapter and then put it onto a light stand is a great thing for interview wise, I think yeah, using two of these be bright enough, but if you want to uh, light up an entire room with it, you probably want to have like a, a row of four of these because um, the brightness of this is pretty bright, but it is around a thousand lumens. 
if you want to brighten up a big scene you might want to go more towards like 4000 lumens so able to have like more lights but um, yeah I feel like this could be a very nice light to use to film a lot of products with it so you did see the uh, test video with the helmet and it gives a nice uh, and different look than uh, using a uh, LED panel as this is like a thin long uh, yeah LED strip and it gets like a certain look that you will get with a keynote tube light so yeah that was mainly everything uh, I want to talk about this so it's an affordable LED light. Uh, this part costs you only like eight bucks. The adapter here or the plug here costs you like one buck. This adapter plate costs only 24 bucks. So it's not really that expensive. And yeah, you can adapt it to a lot of power sources. So that was mainly it. If you want to see more upcoming videos, please subscribe. If you have any questions, please comment below and I'll see you the next time. Bye bye.